Alright guys, how does power switch work? Uh, I did a video recently, but I didn't do it properly, so I'm going to redo it again. Uh, and this time I'm going to explain properly how it works. So as you can see here, I have um, a lot of extractor. They're all working because there is there is no wired power switch to them. So basically they are working uh, with all the energy that I have around. None of them are wired to any power switch, right? Now I do have a power switch, but it is not wired, meaning that every all the energy around is being spread out equally to anything that requires energy however if you want to control this guy over here as you can see it says five power so what you need to do to control this one specifically you need to uh take one of the let's say solar array like this guy over here so this one provides six power right so you're gonna wire this guy wire it to this power switch and then you're gonna wire this guy to the power switch over here. Boom. So right, right now, you see it's working, right? So if I click this guy, boom, it's not working anymore. As you can see, it's not working, but everything else is working, right? So now you're gonna say, what if I wanna control the, the this one over here as well? Well, if you wanna control this one as well, uh, you need to link another power energy, like uh, this guy over here, right? So I'm gonna go to this guy. I'm going to wire it to power switch. Boom. And then I'm going to go to this guy. Well, actually, no, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I'm going to delete this guy. So let's say you wire this guy, this uh, extractor, right? Whoops. Let's say you wire this guy to the power switch, which is linked to only one power generator. What it means that because we only I only provide six energy with this guy is that one of them is not going to work. So this one, let me see. This one is working. This one is not working. Why? Because uh, this solar array only provides six energy, and I need ten energy. So what do we do? We uh, I need to gather energy somewhere else, which can have up to ten, right? But I guess I'm going to use this one here. That's going to be twelve energy. So wire this guy to the power switch over here. Boom. And now if you look at both of them works and it works get it so if you want this to, to control this one you can do the same thing so you can have another uh, solar array linked to the, to the power switch and then link, and then you wire this extractor to the power switch so basically when you turn off this power switch you'll be controlling all of them now you're gonna say what if I want to control them individually you can do that basically all you have to do is to build another power switch like this right boom and you can wire you can whoops you can wire this one over here right away if you want to to this guy but it's gonna stop working i believe yeah it stopped working because there's no uh solar array or there's no any energy linked to it so i'm gonna have to use another solar array like uh, i don't know this guy here we go. Wire this to my power switch. Boom. Now it's going to work. And it's working. So basically, if you want to control uh, only this guy, turn it off. And it's not working. But these two are working. Why? Because this power switch controls only uh, this extractor and this extractor so that's how it works and another thing is if you let's say use a fuel generator so let's say you use a fuel gen generator you have 20 energy so you will have 20 energy meaning that with this you can control uh, four four extractor why because it consumes five energy and the power fuel uh, generator provides 20 energy so it means you could control four extractor at the same time with uh, the fuel generator. I just want to point that out. So if you like this video and if it helps you, please like and sub. Thanks for watching. Cheers.